ever since that train into the crane or well any blockade runner for that matter was like a huge investment for me um and then I, it's kind of like taking me down this road of like well how much can i fit in here how much utility can i fit into a single ship and really a lot of what i do in null um these days is like rat sites or ratting in general and then like mercoxis mining and then of course i take all my exports i'll do like data and relic sites as well and then all of my high value exports my high isk perim 3 exports i'll just fly to Jita myself whether it be like morphite and then maybe like the uh the blue salvage from uh um relic sites and then also i'll you know bring out uh any of the uh overseer caches and stuff i get from uh rated sites so this is kind of what i do is like if i'm not committing like a huge number of like assets to a system in null i really just kind of roll with a crane and whatever i can fit into it being like kind of a minimalist kind of situation so i'm gonna show you kind of what's in here right so this is it and i still have some room left in here but what essentially i have in here is an entire Tingu plus fit and then I have a skiff plus the fit for Mercoxis mining and then I also have another uh, shuttle in here and then obviously this crane is also fully fitted as well and then it has um, it has spare inert uh, stabilizers so what I do with this is essentially I, when I roll into you know a station I'll just like unpack this stuff so I'll kind of just show you what I do um, just ignore this extra, like, you know, one I've got there. So what I'll normally do is I'll roll in, I'll drop everything into the station. And then of course I have, you know, saved fits for everything. So I can do this a lot quicker. So right, right here, this would be my Merc, uh, my Merc fit. And then I'll just go in here and I'll just fit it. Right. And then it's, you know, good to go. Um, and then the uh, the Tingu is a little bit different though, for the fact that you have to like you know assemble it first because of the uh, the modules. But you know I'll go over here and I usually go. I don't do interdiction unless I'm like traveling with it. So I'll select chassis opt and then I'll throw that together. And then I'll just kind of throw all the mods that go on here. And what's great about the Tingu in just in by in general is that you don't waste any uh, of the you can break it completely down. You don't waste any rigs or anything when you're doing any of this stuff. So, and I also use this to uh, frost line integrated analyzer. That's what I use for just my, my data, data relic sites. It just, I prefer to have the extra utility slot. And also I use like these heavy assault launchers. I used to use uh, Kaldari Navy ones, but you know, it's just, I try to go cheap as cheap as I can usually for you know my little well, i guess you could call it a, a go bag um or whatever and so this usually takes me like maybe like five minutes it's like this is probably the most um the most time consuming thing just because of you know the fact that we have to you can't just you know, do a, a mass fit uh for it so it doesn't take too horribly long and so as you can see i do shield tank for this uh for this tingu as well and so i'll just throw this last rig on and then as you can see um got some extra stuff here which i'll go over uh you can carry the uh the other subsystem in here i also um have the interdiction that will go with that you know subsystem this uh damage control okay is just another thing i can use for the tingu if i wanted to and then i have like the uh combat scanners and then the extra ammo which i can just carry you know an extra amount which will just stay in station usually and then obviously i have three uh, inert stabilizers for swapping onto the uh, tingu for travel fit and then the two uh the two remaining are for the uh crane if i want to take off um expanded cargo holds and usually if i'm exporting like morph bite i'll uh you know put uh, inert stabilizers on just to you know get kind of back and forth these two th this is just extra rigs so like you know every obviously every time you like you'll know, break down the skiff you lose rigs on it so i just carry extras I don't run field extender twos because they're just expensive. I'd rather just do ones um, just for the fact that it's kind of like a bug out kind of a situation. And I also just carry extra medium cargo hold rigs in case I have to like break down the um, the crane as well in case I need to just put everything into like maybe like, you know, a freight service or, you know, whatever. But I know it's kind of weird, but, you know, 
I was actually kind of proud of like this little like, you know, situation. And so normally like, see now, now I have like, you know, this crank, the, the Tingu, I can go out and do like, you know, low rated sites or like, you know, combat noms, or I can jump in the uh, skiff and go Merc mining. And then I have the crane that I can actually do PI and or just, you know, exporting stuff to Jita. And then I also had the uh, shuttle just, you know, if I want to like, you know, get gate and go through bubbles and, and stuff like that. And then obviously when I'm ready to go, right, I just, you know, pop in the crane here. And what I'll do is I'll just repackage the skiff and then I'll just repackage the Tingu. And I'll throw all those in there. And also I'm really weird. When it comes to like modules, I repackage everything because I like everything to stack. I know that's strange, but then I'll just throw it all in there. Boom. Everything's in and I uh, can go and go to the next place. Pretty cool. Hopefully you guys found this interesting. What I'll do is I'll put the contents of all this in a e-phrasal just so if you are interested in like kind of having like a little, uh, you know, null sec, you know, bug out <laughs> bag essentially. Uh, you can see kind of what I'm working with here. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.